you know, Kamala Harris can beat Donald Trump. Joe Biden has officially announced that he is going to drop out. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm not even big on her, but somehow this seems like a fresh move. It's, I can, you know, I feel like Obama's orchestrated. And I'm going to tell you, I have my issues with her, but see, there's a couple, there's a few factors involved. I'm going to ask this to dear old America with three Ks. How racist and sexist are you? Because now you got a black woman who is not really threatening. But she's in a position where she can win. She picks the right VP. She can they can eat up racist Junior Whopper J.D. Vance, a Junior Whopper version of Trump who's sell out and sold out. And he can be had. I do believe Trump was going to slaughter Biden. I think the fix is still on. But Kamala Harris can beat him if she focuses on the legalities of Trump's issues, his racism, his sexism, she can mop the floor with him. And if she picks the right running mate, probably Governor Whitmer of Michigan, they could win. They could actually win. Imagine two women running in president and vice president against trash like Trump could actually win. If I was a strategist, I would say uh, Whitmer because the one from Michigan has showed me some fire. The one from Minneapolis, uh, she's cool. But Whitmer, I think with Carmella, they could be, they could take him down. Actually, I, I, I still want reparations over anything. I don't want to, I'm not changing my tune because I take reparations over all of it. Because it's not for us and I ain't changed that. But I do believe Carmella Harris could beat Trump. For reasons of common sense because Trump is racist he's sexist he old he is convicted multiple times over and he's very derogatory so what would it say about the morality that a black woman could, or woman whatever she wants to be in the wheel of fortune of races right now that Carmela Harris is she can apply to different demographics he can't he can't. He acts with black folk. He act with folk. She could actually, this could have been on the cards a long time. This could be the, the if he thinks he's got a bandit on his ear, he might want to put a bandit on his head because this one about landed on the head. If Kamala Harris teams up with Whitmer from Michigan, black a woman, a different a multiracial and a white woman together running in 2024, you're going to find out if America's progressive or not. Now, you know they hated Hillary Clinton because she had that last name and she was, she could definitely hang and she knew her, her knew her stuff and Trump had to run that off the railroad. But this situation would flip the script. Because if you put a, you know, if Kamala Harris is smart, have a female running mate, That could do the trick. That could do the trick. And I definitely think she have a better chance than what Biden would be there with it. Because Trump can't weasel out of that, though. And I don't have a dog again in the situation because I'll take reparations. I tell you that already. Ain't nothing changed. Give me reparations. But the Kamala Harris situation is an opener because it flips the script. They didn't quite see this coming. And what could be the possibilities if she flips it the right way? Because she's got, she's got a legality, even though I don't agree with her, her previous, but she's from a legal perspective, a common sense perspective, a woman of color, and the sexism involved. She could be Trump's worst nightmare. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share if you like. And please hit that membership because when you do, the requests will be acknowledged and I will acknowledge those videos. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay up. I'm out. Peace.